Today we're in Eruray National Park for three days of hiking and wild camping. But with an added challenge as we'll be completing the hike while fasting. The rules are simple. No food or water between sunrise and sunset. Hiking three days in the mountains. Is that a death wish? <laughs> but we are starving. You may be wondering why, and we'll get to that. We have a long way to go. Oh, there's a lot of frogs spawning in this. Okay, welcome back. Today we're in Snowdonia National Park for three days of backpacking, wild camping. As an added challenge today, we are going to be dry fasting. So we have actually been dry fasting for the last 15 days. Um, it's currently Ramadan, fasting from dawn till sunset. So that's like 4 a.m. till 8 p.m. Um, yep. We'll see how it goes. No water, no food. Nada. No water, no food. Is that a death wish? <laughs> Probably. Let's see how it goes. Let's go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so our first job is to get out of this bowl today. It's about midday, so we have about eight, seven hours of sunlight left. And for eight, seven hours of fasting left. Energy levels at the moment are good. So we should try and make a fair bit of time this now and then we'll maybe slow down for the afternoon throw the tent up early if need be Oh! It's rambling! Oh. Let's have a snooze Oh, oh yeah I'm just trying to break onto this ridge now. Uh, we're both struggling a little bit, plodding on. Less than five hours till sunset. Oh yeah. Okay, so we're at 1040 meters now. And so thought process is we're gonna take on this ridge line for the next couple of hours. We've got about three, four hours till sunset. I think we're just gonna walk until until we've got the energy to. Definitely starting to slow down, definitely feeling it. Alright. So we decided to pick up some extra water from a less than ideal source because there's none up here. We have some. We've come prepared, but it's always nice to have a little bit extra. What do you reckon? Uh, there's a lot of frogs spawning in this. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep it. Um, and we'll boil, you know, we'll filter it and we'll boil it. Hey, and if we get sick, we'll let you know. Oh my gosh, it's been quite hard to um, it's quite hard to plan what to bring on this trip because it's straddling oh, it's two seasons. I think it's going to be cold tonight. Oh god, I is leaving me. Yeah, 
there. Quite a lot. Three bagels with jam, cheese, oats, oats for breakfast. We're not having breakfast. Oh, we're fasting. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Why did we bring these? For Des extra weight. <laughs> for dessert. Green lentils. Brazilian smoky bean, mug shot pasta mac and cheeses, chili and garlic tofu chunks, some dates to break our fast, and we've got some skittles, tiny bit of skittles, a packet of soup to mix in, and some spices. Mmm, I smell it already. You actually do have to stir. That's us in for the night. The wind's picked up. The stars are out. It's a little cold. <laughs> We've had about three different meals so far. We had our beans, our cheese, cheesy pasta. <laughs> but we're gonna sit in here tonight in the tent and uh, listen to the wind for the next 10 hours and then rinse and repeat. Whoa. It's a bit windy. It's a bit cold. Damn. What's that of you? Still fasting. So last night was the uh, the last meal we had. I don't know. I feel pretty good today. I'm surprisingly fresh. Um, it's not going to be much of a challenge if we don't suffer. So we're going to have to do more miles to make this a bit interesting. We're just scoping out this ridge line here. We think this might be the perfect place to spend the next two days. Anyway, we'll get going. plan at the moment is we're almost back down at the lake we're gonna cross along the lake and then head up into these sort of gullies again um, and then there's a there's a small lake on top of that and I think that's where we're gonna try and camp tonight up the devil's devil's kitchen or hell's kitchen I'm struggling. I'm really struggling. It's because it's warm. Yeah, the lack of water is is getting me. We're running on what we've got. Let's push on. So we've got about six hours, five and a half hours till the next sunset. Five and a half hours to sunset. 
and we've got all the way to go to get to that ridge becoming the hiking challenge that i envisioned we're heading up the devil's kitchen it's a beautiful day but we are starving <laughs> energy is fast plummeting and we have the biggest climb of the day ahead of us so this will be quite interesting Okay, we're, our, we're in our final resting place for this evening after a big hard climb up Devil's Kitchen. Two hours till sunset, we're gonna get set up, make ourselves comfortable. Lovely water in front of us. Oh, this is a good spot. Yes. I love camping food. Oh, noodles, sweet and sour, sweet and sour sauce, noodles, and tofu. Oh boy. Oh, is that warm? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's warm. Oh, it's good. It's. Oh, I feel good. I feel really good. Yeah, no, I do. We're just going to eat the rest of the food we have, um, all of it, and drink all of our water, and then we're going to go to bed, I think. And start again tomorrow. Start again tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning! We've just woken up and we're gonna head out there for a nice view and then back down the other side and that'll probably be us for the day. Day three of fasting, feeling pretty good, had a lot to eat last night, energy's okay, had a good sleep. Last day of hiking and fasting, so let's go! Right, final descent of the day. Just the kind of sketchy you want the first thing in the morning. In the end, we hiked over 25 miles over three days while completely dry fasting. It was difficult, but we had a lot of fun and we'd do it again. We had amazing weather for this one with two great sunsets. It's been really good to challenge ourselves and see see what we can do. A few other hiking challenges planned. I hope you enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next. Bye!